Oh no, Tesla. Repeat. Please have a moment of silence for Tesla. All right, that's it. Well, like I said yesterday in our video, um, I kind of assumed Tesla would sell off after battery day, uh, but you never know. I thought it could go up, but I kind of thought it'd go down, and I was assuming it would sell off somewhat, even if there was some crazy unveiling of, you know, HVAC system or some new car design or one of the crazy things that I saw people predicting for battery day but I watched it and it was uh, quite underwhelming if you're a day trader fanboy of Tesla and so I definitely I, de I definitely see the sell-off I'm not gonna go into too much detail on Tesla you can watch the other 10,000 YouTube YouTube fanboys on it um, I actually I was really excited to hear what they said about the batteries um, it's crazy how much they're doing really like very much bullish on Tesla they're they're so deep and heavy into manufacturing and research and development and just I mean almost too much I'm wondering if it will affect um, their production of cars and solar panels and because they're I mean they're going if you didn't watch it they're basically they're controlling they're trying to control the entire process of making a battery and they're they're actually re-engineering and um, changing the way you make batteries they actually just they're changing it so it's it's pretty insane and they're changing the whole process of even how you get to that point um everything from mining it out of the ground to how it's put together it's it was pretty cool if you're any any bit into that nerdy stuff you should uh you should watch it but it's uh they've they've literally they're changing re-engineering the battery to be more efficient uh cheaper to make uh more dense lighter weight basically just better power to weight and cheaper and with lithium and silicon uh which is much more abundant than uh what they're using now i can't remember what what everyone's using now that there's so much controversy over but anyways i won't get into it too much um thankfully actually so it counts down today of course i were down 300 and then yeah the tesla tesla brought the rest down um yeah, so our shares are down. I'm still uh, still up overall. I mean, I, my buying price is 388. And if it goes, I'm not gonna buy more. If it goes to 388, I'm pretty heavy in this already, 16%. Um, but if it goes down to like, I don't know, 350 or something, I'll buy more. But for now, I think I'll probably be good. Um, I might buy calls. I might buy more calls on it, honestly, tomorrow. Um, every action is over overreaction and this, I think this will be an overreaction. So I think tomorrow, I think it, I think it'll start reversing tomorrow. I think in the morning it'll sell off a little bit, and it kind of depends on the market too. But um, I think it'll sell off a little bit in the morning, and then probably reverse up, unless if the spy in the overall market really comes down, which I'm kind of thinking spy will drop tomorrow quite a bit. So we'll see. Um, I don't I don't think Tesla will drop for too long. If it does, I think it'll be back up, back up real quick um i opened up a lot of plays today uh kind of kind of going crazy on this it's uh like i said earlier with all these down downward down days then this little just consolidation then down and then this to me looks like a little dead cat bounce just it's just stair stepping down um or bull trap whatever you want to call it uh since it was a green day i opened up a lot of bearish plays um expecting it to maybe rally another day but maybe just start selling off again tomorrow and then new lows so we'll see um yeah so you can see i opened uh bank of america put i've got 27 of these contracts now uh, expiring november 20th the 16 and 17 dollar put so um Yeah, so they're here now. I mean, it, the contract didn't really gain value just because it was such a slow melt today. I don't remember where I got into it, but just kind of the slow melt. But as you, if you see, is it gnarly bear flag, long pull down flat? Um, I think that's going to keep going. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold this, these contracts probably for at least a couple weeks. I mean, we'll see what happens, but um, 
you know, I think, uh, I think, I think we've got time on it for sure to let it play out. I don't want to get out too soon, too early. And then I've got a 32 Delta airline, uh, put contracts. He's actually just shot up in value at the end of the day, which is weird. That's what E-Trade does, but these were negative today too. These are, let's see, 20th November also. The 17 and 18 put. So I bought the 17 and I sold the 18. Um, and if you look at uh, Delta Airlines, yeah, same thing, gnarly bear flag. Huge sell off and then just consolidation and not like a reversal by any means. Um, and even though the indicator is showing MACD and all that, price action is, a, is probably the best indicator. And if you look, it's just flat and low volume. If this was a reversal, it'd be big green bars on top of this nine moving average. The nine moving average would be going up. This would be a lot of volume. So I think this will continue to drop hard. Um, oh so yeah, I've got 32 of those contracts. I mean, th these are debit spreads. So they're not, or uh, yeah, put debit spreads. So they're not, I mean, huge. Not, you know, this was 202, 139. And I'll buy more into these if they go up tomorrow. If this, the stock price goes up higher, these will get cheaper and I'll buy more. Um, but what's nice about these is it's it's cheap, but you still have, you know, your max gain is still pretty high. So I'll show you the max gain. This one's twenty five hundred, which is on one hundred twenty three dollar position. That's legit. Given it's probably not to get to max gain, but it might. And you know, if this was just a naked put, um, yeah, it would cost this much for like two contracts. Given my max profit would be unlimited, but to even get to 2500 on two contracts would be it would have to be crazy i'm gonna do another video showing the difference between basically naked and dressed <laughs> dressed uh, puts and calls and then i have spy so i bought in let's see i've got 15 of these now um november 20th 279 280 and honestly this uh, this might be too high oh yeah that's too that's way up here i think i think we're gonna bring it i think we're gonna bring it down further we'll see though um, if spy comes up, yeah, <clears throat> I don't see this as a reversal really. I mean, maybe a little bit, like it's possible it'll come up and bounce off the 180 day, but I don't know. It didn't. See, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm banking on the downside right now, except for Tesla, which of course, um, how much time do I have in these? I've talked over nine, so I don't have much time. These, okay, so thankfully, I was going to say, thankfully, I sold out of a couple of these today and actually made a little profit already on all the positions. So these five are free and I made money on it. So let's see, I sold, you can't see this over here, but I sold it for $1.50. Wait, no, expired. Let me see, where is it? You guys like my... You know, Jazz? Dude, where is it? Anyways, I sold like three of these and basically I think I made like a hundred bucks so far in the position and have these five for free. So these still, it says it still has value. I'm not sure if they do or not. Tomorrow they probably won't have any value, but I might actually even buy in more of these. Let's see, the fifth for 500. That's pretty aggressive, but if the market rallies, I think it could. The thing is, I don't think the market's really going to rally enough to support this kind of a bullish move. I don't know, actually. Let's see. It's way down after hours, though. 6%. It was funny. Yeah, as as the... <laughs> I was watching Battery Day, and, and as it the Q&A slide came up behind Elon, it was like, well, I guess that's it. And I looked at, uh, looked at Robinhood app, and I just see the stock price just plummeting once people realized that that was it, and there was no, no other big big thing he was unveiling the big unveiling was the plaid freaking model s like the <laughs> he kicked himself there i don't he way over hyped it he said this is going to be insane like and the battery stuff like it truly is insane long-term holders i mean they're they're crazy they're crazy energy company and they're they're literally they're not only trying to bring everything in house like they say they're not they say they're outsourcing but they're trying to be the best at everything so it will all be in house and what I was saying before is like that that could hurt them because they're they're pretty much over engineering everything and trying to make everything even like um, the actual manufacturing aspect of it so efficient just the, they're making machines to make the machines and they're since Elon is like crazy person 
he's trying to make them perfect and utilizing every little square inch of his factory he was saying and and just like it's like i think it's sick like i'm into that but it's if you look too much at the detail the bigger picture you sometimes miss but i don't know we'll see uh i like it i think as energy it's good i want to get uh power power walls and solar panels i've been wanting to get that on my house for a long time um and teslas i mean shoot but yeah basically what it said and i think he tried to downplay the the battery day after it was going on or planned it or whatever um maybe because he thinks it's way overvalued already his stock price which it is but i don't get why he was hyping it up somewhat in a text he hyped it up in the text saying it's huge stuff coming and then he tried to downplay it saying um it's not going to be huge it's going to take three years so he's all over the place but uh yeah it was it was pretty cool to see it was uh uh it was funny I, i'm just i can't believe how much they're putting into the batteries from the ground the whole process up and like changing the whole workflow of how people get the basic raw materials all the way to the battery that's in a car or you know, wherever it is in a in a power wall or in a in a, in a battery it's like they're they're doing all of it it's, it's crazy so it sounds like their batteries are going to be legit <laughs> so short duracell no i don't know um that's it for me though today guys i hope you uh are doing all right hope the spy hope the spy is uh the overall market's treating you well i was i was negative today not a huge deal oh and robin hood was down momentarily since um I need to get out of these debit spreads on here. I keep I keep doing this, but I'm not opening up any more on here. The only thing I'm opening up on here is really selling. Selling spy credit spreads, selling puts, selling covered calls, and then my shares. I gotta stop this on this account. Um, my Weeble. I'll use this for debit spreads and selling spy credit spreads. But right now I'm putting I'm doing all my uh I guess more YOLO, not YOLO, more risky more purchasing of option premium and purchasing contracts on this e-trade account so we'll see how it goes but yeah this i don't like how this one does it either though it does the same thing as robin hood this was down like all day and then the last like couple minutes i guess it's the spreads at the end i don't know it's just like everything shoots up like this this was negative this was negative but i don't know let me know in the comments if you guys are uh gonna jump back into tesla if you're gonna buy more I want to buy more, but I don't want to right at this point. I'm going to wait. Um, I'm already too heavy in it, maybe. But I might I might open up some more debit spreads. We'll see. I might, might average down on these. Even though, actually, these... I don't know. These might be so positive tomorrow. The premium on Tesla is crazy. I don't know if I want to play with options. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like up, sub up, comment down. Make your money happy money, so we'll stick around. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.